Plenary of Council and University of Lalibana. So, good afternoon. Thank you for making it this far. I'm sure you're exhausted by now. But I think we have had a very fruitful day. I think this is going to be the starting point for sustainability in the Canary Islands. I'd like to first give thanks to the Regional Department for the Environment and all other participants, the technical support provided by the university and at the sustainability churches. And I'd also like to thank all of those that formed part of the various different panels over the last two days. I'd like to congratulate Nomi Padron in particular because I know that she has been working hard for a very long time. And we are going to present a project for public and private management of waste on our island. And this is the observatory that we've just all heard about. So I'd like to congratulate you, Naomi. And to give thanks to Josue Manuel Cáceres who answered our call to form to sit on the committee and to the rest of the committee too and this has allowed us to generate synergy build bridges between all the various different players in waste management and they come from many different areas, researchers from many different academic disciplines. So I didn't even know before we began this. We have technicians from private entities, from foundations, uh, students, and uh, people in general. And all of these people came together because they want to make Tenerife more sustainable. And in fact, this is a meeting point for all of us. So <laughs> thanks to all of you. Thanks, Alexis, in particular. I can see you. So I'm going to try and be as brief as I possibly can. I want to present our project to you. Obviously, I cast a jealous sidelong glance at Jose Vicente, who's been working for many years quite successfully. But what we have is a dream. Um, much like what uh, Nomi has spoken about, the observatory. And our idea is a great dream for the university. And basically what I wanted to talk to you about is where did the idea of the chair begin? Now, the name of our chair is sustainability and environment, but sustainability and, event, uh, uh, sustainability and environment. So why? Because in our islands, we need to meet an urgent need. And also, because we want to meet certain objectives, certain targets. And we also have a global vision. I think Jose Vicente has also given us a very uh, specific idea of what a chair is and what we need to do when we form a chair. So perhaps I will uh, contribute by giving you an idea of uh, the global vision that we need to uh, contribute in our chair. We have many other chairs at the university, but this is a new chair, the sustainability chair, and this will allow us to meet specific challenges and objectives. So where did it all begin? First of all, first and foremost, there was uh, cooperation and partnerships between the Island Council and the University of La Laguna on specific projects. Mm, the Waste Observatory was a project. We raised awareness amongst people at the Regional uh, Environment Department, and this led to closer collaboration. And basically what we wanted to do was institutionalize this collaboration. We were bolstered by the support given to us by the Island Council. The university itself also wanted to uh, become involved. We set up the chair, and the chair's only been around for one year. And basically what we wanted to do was mm, bolster the presence of the university in society to raise our profile. So we consolidate through university courses. We also have cultural chairs. In fact, a 
chair was set up quite recently, the Antonio Grello Agroecology Chair. This has much to do with uh, sustainability as well and sustainable development. So we have our chair, the sustainability chair, and perhaps it differs from the Ecoembers chair in the fact that it began as a purely institutional chair. We were sponsored by a public rather than a, a public institution rather than a private entity. So we are a institutional public chair. And I hope that in the future, because of the very nature of this industry and because of all the various different interests that are pulled together and the interest in sustainability, I think we need all social agents to be involved. This means that we need to involve the private sector too. So I'd like to highlight the fact that we are a sustainability chair. But let's look at sustainability. Sustainability itself is perhaps more holistic than environment. Environment forms part as a central pillar, but we also have other pillars like socio-economic aspects and economic aspects too. Uh, so sustainability is a concept that goes beyond a purely environmental approach. It tries to tackle global challenges of sustainable develop development. Mm, in fact, I work for the uh, University Social Responsibility Secretariat of the University, so therefore social responsibility is a key aspect of what we do at the university. So why do we have a sustainability chair at the University of La Laguna? Mm. I have perhaps three different justifications. First is an answer to the overarching challenges that are posed to us by mm, alarming trends of, of late with regards to waste production. We've seen this over the last two days. We've seen at the state of resources in the Canary Islands. Therefore, because of the alarming state of our resources, the university has to uh, and hold up its hand and play its part. This morning we heard about the ecological footprint that was 28 times the surface area of the islands, 20, uh, 19 landfills without being closed on the islands, and if we talk about air quality, then atmospheric pollution has risen at an alarming rate in recently, above all because we're producing electricity through diesel, fossil fuels, and also we are polluting our aquifers mm, and we don't have any reliable data that will indicate exactly what we're going to be able to do in the future with our water resources. We have many reports that are um, waving red flags because we are deteriorating our marine environments. If we look at soil, uh, we are modifying our landscapes, we're <coughs> deteriorating our natural resources, farm resources are deteriorating and our farm landscape is being over cultivated. We're importing foodstuffs. Uh, in fact, in foodstuff import is about 18, 90% and we're also seeing deforestation on the islands. And another <coughs> cause of concern is the uh, growing desertification of these islands. This figure is now at nearly 80%. We also need to consider the rise in extreme poverty and social exclusion. And therefore, there's an urgent need in the Canary Islands for a sustainability chair so that we can tackle these challenges and provide solutions. Second problem, or second challenge, the sustainable development agenda, the SDGs that w were launched in 2015. And society, in particular, the university has to change its approach. At the university, we have to change our paradigm because we can't carry on as we were. In Madrid in March, a cross-sector meeting was held between all the different rectors of the universities, and we asked what is the role of the university when we have to face up to the sustainable development goals. Mm, we have a few words on the slide that I'd like to point out to you. We need to create new spaces for the sharing 
of ideas, transfer knowledge, we need to talk about sustainable development, we need to participate actively in transforming our economic model. We also have to supply innovative responses to global problems and we have to be mediators and generators of spaces for dialogue. Mm. Now, in the recent past, it seems that we have been stuck in our ivory towers, tra uh, only researching and so on and so forth, but we need to be able to share with the rest of society. So in a sustainability chair, we need to look at these challenges and tackle these challenges actively, head on. Now, what do we have? We have certain capacities that we can contribute. We have uh, research groups, we have specialists that have been working in specific areas related to sustainability. Mm, here we have a word cloud uh, with words like eco design, sustainability, water purification, uh, sludge energy, economic approaches. So climate change. So I think that at the University of Ladegona we have the capacity to be able to uh, meet the challenges that we're faced with. We have other capacities. We have a laboratory. Uh, we are located on a group of islands. This means that we have a, a, a laboratory of ideas where we are asked to respond to certain challenges. Because of the geographical nature of these islands, we are being able to supply specific answers to specific questions raised by the fact that we are a group of islands. So, in conclusion, um, we do need a sustainability chair in all of our universities here in the islands. And uh, in fact, I would add to that, I would say that it's, it's urgent for us to have this chair. So, our objectives. I'm going to go straight to the heart of the matter. We have many different goals and objectives, just as many other chairs do. But what we want to achieve is a key goal. We want to um, open our doors, the open doors of the university. We have researchers, we have specialists, but you might work in a business, you might work for an association, a foundation, and it's not necessarily easy for you to come to the university and know and be able to identify the persons you need to talk to. So what we need to do first and foremost is to open our doors. We need to classify the what we have to offer in terms of sustainability. We need to create a sustainability map that is easily accessible for everybody so anybody can come and consult us if they want to. And we want to also create a catalogue, a catalogue of what we can offer to society. It's uh, in essence, it's very intuitive. It should be user-friendly, but it doesn't yet exist. So our short-term goal is to open the doors of our university. Then we have training goals. We want to train our professors on the skills that they need related to sustainability. And we want to also bring in related competences in our curricula, in our study plans. This is an adaptation of the study curricula in the university and we in the chair want to provide support for this process of adaptation. We also want to organize PhDs and master's degrees that are interdisciplinary so that people can study all the various different facets. Now, the chair also wants to consolidate research, we want to create new lines of research, we want to disseminate our results. We want to also award research. We want these awards to um, compensate uh, people's research so that we can make people know what we're doing. Okay, and what else do we want to do? What's our general vision? from the chair. Now, I'd like to perhaps give you an overview of our history. What is our approach? And perhaps give you some key ideas behind the vision behind this chair. Okay, what do we want? We want transdisciplinary spaces. 
for people to come together to brainstorm. We want technical professionals to be able to sit down at a table together. There are people with a great deal to offer, people with expertise. Mm, and I spoke to people in the coffee break during lunch and I know that there is a huge accumulation of expertise and knowledge because you people have been working in this field for many years and we be, can answer sustainability problems if we create these transdisciplinary spaces, multidisciplinary spaces in the university and we also be able to draw on the expertise of professionals and people at large who have worked on various different areas and problems. Mm. A similar learning space was spoken about Ignacy Sanchez, who talk, spoke about the El Mato Finca, the farm on the north of the island. And in fact, this year we, call, we've, we started our first university course with a transdisciplinary approach. The idea is to make this uh, holistic the knowledge approach more widespread in the university and beyond the doors of the university. We also want to be a vehicle to, cha uh, to channel mixed funding sources. We have co-funding, funding from the Island Council and in the future hopefully from private enterprise, those who want to invest in R&D solutions. And finally, we have this vision so perhaps we should be ambitious, perhaps we should have a dream. We want to make University of La Laguna a benchmark, an academic benchmark for sustainability on islands. I think this is an achievable dream. Finally, to end with a quote, Leonardo, Leonardo Boff was interviewed a few years ago and they were, he was asked if at present we could have an utopia, if utopia made any sense, and if we had a utopia, how would we mm, form this utopia? What ingredients would it contain? And he said, if we don't have utopia, then we get stuck down, uh, we get stuck in our own individual uh, preoccupations. And therefore the ingredients that he suggested for a utopia was to have a relationship of respect with life synergy, with natural forces, hospitality towards other humans, and we need to be able to live to, alongside other religions, visions, and beliefs. I think that Tenerife Sustainable, or Sustainable Tenerife, is a utopia, but it's an achievable one. We have the Waste Observatory, we have the Sustainability Chair, and we've heard the views and opinions of so many people, so many players, over the last few days and I think that we can make Tenerife more sustainable and making the world more sustainable is an achievable utopia. Thank you.